Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the world of Yakuza Kiwami Kamurocho. My name is Duke Rafe, and in today's video, or in the last video, we collected all of the um, locker room keys, and we opened up all the keys. Today, we are going to do the... the uh, Messu King cards. We're going to start with the one that is located inside of the Kyushu number one star which is the Empress Sinkeda. This is important for us because it just helps us get started. Uh, the next one will be located at Ibisu Pond for $50,000. So that will be over here. Keep in mind the Giraffe Stag Beetle, which is number one, is located in the Colosseum Ant Room. And then the Hercules Beetle is located behind substory number 78, which we do not have access to yet. So. And then number four, the bird wing is sold at Purgatory, which we don't have access, an area we don't have access to yet either. So we're going to head to Ibisu, and I will meet you over there. Okay, we are in now inside Ibisu. Um, I'm going to throw an audible in this case. If there's anything for sale at a shop that I have access to, for the key, like the moves, I'm going to buy them as well. So we don't have to double back here, right? So I apologize if that confuses you, but that's fine. Okay, so with those three under our control, our next goal will be to head to the Millennium Tower to, in order to get the uh, card there. That one will be the... Uh, it's another Cicada, so should be over here somewhere. Meet you over there. We are back. Should be noted that for Messu King, there are two types of cards. There are move cards and there are bug type cards. We're collecting the bug type cards first, so... If you pick one up along the way that you see, that's the reason why. So number six is gotten. Number seven will be located somewhere down here. I will meet you down there. Be right back. This one took some doing. It's in the bike rack right here, right across from the Miss, Miss Chiata building. And so now for the next one, we might have seen this earlier in the other video. There is one that's going to be back here behind Serena. So I will meet you over there. And we're back here behind Serena. So it's right here next to the pylon. Boom, the stag beetle. Not bad, not bad. The next one we're, is going to be located in Public Park 3. I'm going to put a cut in here and I'll see you over there. Okay, these two are very close to one another. So I'll do them both in one go. Uh, one is here, one is here. Now, we'll have to go to first person view for this to, in order to get this one. I don't know why, but I think this is one of the few times where that mechanic is used. We'll get the damsel fly. And then we'll to the north side over here. It's just behind the trash cans. And then number 12 should be over here in front of Nakamichi Alley. It should be the Paper Wasp. I'm going to just head over there and we'll take a look, but I make no promises. Uh, this might have been the one that we picked up from the professor, right? It says it's number 12. Yeah, there it is right there. With Paper Wasp in hand, we're going to go up a ways over here. And I'm pretty sure this one is just outside of the Smile Burger. So I will meet. We'll just I'll run over there. We'll show it. OK, I found it right here. Once again, I for some reason can't get to it, though. Right. But that's where it's located. Number 14 is going to be just over here outside of shine so i will meet you over there once i find it be right back okay okay so went a little bit south from shine right by the red sign by the alley right there boom 14. 15 we already got given to us by the professor if you recall so that was part of it but the next one will be over here somewhere i'll meet you over there by putting a cut in be right back. Okay, so here we are at the Sendrio Avenue. Right, we see it on the ground here. 
The next two, uh, we don't have access to quite yet. One, because one requires us to win 20 games of uh, Messu King. So the first suggestion I make for that is you have to win 20 games against your first opponent. So that, I think his name is Tomashiro or something like that. He only chooses one, one, you know, it's a rock, paper, scissors game. So he'll pay, always choose rock. So you pick always paper. Boom. Beat him 20 times. You'll get the car card from the professor. The other one is a sub story locked card. So the next one that we're going to be looking for is going to be up here in the air up here in this little there's an alleyway that we have access to behind shellac i'll meet you over there in the champion district and we'll go from there be right back so we're just behind shellac right now it's over here on the ground number 21 the autumn darter our next goal will be to head down to this slot here and pick up the card there be right back and we're back the it's right next to the lamborghini here on the other side that's why we never actually saw it up until this point that's why I had to come back here. When we now have 20 Mesu King cards. Great. That's fantastic. Number 23 will be up here by West Park. I'm going to put a cut in here. I'll see you up there. There's two things I want to show you when we get up there anyway. Um, the other thing to point out as well, I might as well just grab it now. 24 is right here. Right. And then 25 ooh, is right ooh. up here. Right. I'm trying to save myself some personal time by not by getting it all out of. It doesn't matter if I get it, if we miss it or not, though. Uh, unlike the lockers where we go to a centralized location to check it, we can always check which cards we're missing by going to the Mesu King binder, right? So um, anyway, I'm going to go up to the, the West King Park and I will show you up there a couple things. Be right back. OK, we're at the Park Boulevard right now. This is the card that I was talking about, number 23, the Atlas Moth. However, there's something else I wanted to show you. Oh, it's Majima. This is where he goes um, whenever he he's out of things to do. So if you see him here, don't really panic. Just know that's where he's supposed to be. Um, now, if we were to continue down this way, we'll find number 28. And I'm probably going to go grab it. I'm going to grab it right now, 28 and 30, because long story short, for 28 being here on Park Boulevard, right by the plant, long story short, getting these cards out of sequence was a pain in the butt, or getting the keys out of sequence was, uh, or in sequence was a pain in the butt. So knowing what I'm missing would be great. So, and right by Canray, we have uh, number 30, the bug. Now, there are two more that we're missing. We're missing 27, which is located over here. So I'm going to swing by over there and grab it by putting in a cut. I'll be right back. Okay. Hold up. Okay, we're at number 27 now. So, boom. The giant hornet. We're going to go get the last card that's outstanding for us on this side, and that's number 26. Number 26 is inside of the Sega Nakamichi Street Studio. So I will meet you over there. OK, we're inside the Nakamichi Street Sega building. And this is our final ladybug. Everything else is either locked behind a. It's locked behind either a sub story or it's in an area I don't have access to or we have to grind for it. Right now, we're going to move on to the next set of things. The skill cards, the way these work is right now we have the bugs, right? So if I wanted to use, I'm pretty sure the strongest we have is the Empress and Gata. If I want to use stronger bugs, right, then what's going to happen is Or if I want to use stronger moves, I have to find them, right? So as it stands for Empress and Keda, I have a few moves, not many. So now we're going to start finding more. First things first, to do that. I'm not going to do it the way I did it last time, where it was trying to do it in order, much like with the locker keys. I find it's going to be a pain. We're going to start over here, and we will work our way from there. So be right back.
Now, these moves don't really have anything special going for them, so to speak. Um, the best way to put it, they still exist. So we have number three because we got one already, I believe. No, we don't have one. Number three and number one is all the way up here in the hotel district. Up by the cab. So I'll meet you over there. And just over here is a cartwheel kick, which is great. Uh, we still got number two already. Number three we picked up already as well. So we're going to head over here and get number five. Or maybe I will do it in sequence. I don't know. I haven't really decided yet. The Kestro Punch, which is great. Uh, do I do it in sequence? Yeah, I should. So we're going to go into Cafe Alps for number six. So I'll meet you over there. Okay, we are inside Cafe Alps. This took me a bit to find. It's right here. The Super Kestrel Punch. So, next would be number nine, which we basically already got given to us. So, we're gonna go to 10 next, which is gonna be over by a taxi stand, if I remember correctly. And that taxi stand will be this one so i'll meet you over there okay so over by the bike racks next to the taxi stand it's right here our next one will be just outside of the mock bowl i will meet you out front okay we are outside of the mock bowl it's right here by the bowling pin boom the romero special which is perfect for us 12 is locked behind a sub story so next, we're going to go to 13. Which is located just down here. So I'll meet you over there. OK, we're down here at number 13. Now, if you remember, we bought number 14 at Abyssu. 15 and 16 are locked behind uh, sub stories. And 17 was given to us by the professor. So that means number 18 will be over here. I'll meet you over there by the Papa Showa, I think it is. Yep. Popo. So I will meet you over there. OK, we're now here in north of the Popo on the other side of the road of Tenkaichi. There's a flatbed truck. So we'll go here and get number 18. Right, for the what is it called? The Tomonage. So now, with 18 in our possession, it, I need to say 19 is now out of reach because it's in a sub story. However, 20 is in the Pocket Circuit Stadium, so I will meet you over there. And we're back. We're now inside of the Pocket Circuit Stadium. Next to these gumball machines, our gotcha ponds, is number 20, the giant, the super giant swing. Now, for number 22, it should be noted, or number 21, I believe 21 is what? What is it? It's going to be located inside the informant se sector, if I remember correctly. Um, checking my notes here. So the the no, the inform in the information sector is the MEB, wherever that is. Uh, that's Debola. Oh, there it is, MEB. So I'll meet you over in here. We'll pick up that one. And then we'll go from there. Be right back. Okay, we are at MEB. Just next, if you enter and you turn left, you'll see this poster. This is where we get the pile driver. Our next skill will be located way over here by the save, save point. Because 22, we don't have access to. It's locked behind a sub story once again. So 23 is located by the save point here. I'll meet you over there. And we're back. Now that we're on CG... Shichifuku Street East, right by the cage that's lowered in these boxes near the safe point. By Bar Verde, we have the taunt, number 23. Now, 24 is locked behind a substory, as is 26 and 28. So, I'm not going to worry about those quite yet. And 29 as well. So they're not locked, but they're in a different area, right? 
But we're gonna go to the Pink Street North to get number 25. I'll meet you over there. And we're back. So we're in Pink Street North. Uh, we're in the parking lot in the far back corner here. Far back right corner in particular. Where we get the double drop. Now, the final car that's out in the world that we have access to will be located down here in Taihei Boulevard East. I will be right back. Meet you over there. And we are at the final location that we have to go to, Taihei Boulevard East. We are in front of a flatbed truck beside the pole. Car number 27, the banana split. So at this point, everything else is locked behind some stories or areas we don't have access to. Uh, I'm going to give a quick brief overview on certain things. One, if we get this CP, we are essentially, I am able to get the golden gun right now, if so, so to speak. Um, and let me, let me explain why. I know there are at least five cards locked behind sub stories, at least five, right? That we have immediate access to. Two, and this is the important thing, um, I am missing, that will bring us up to what? 25, 24, 25, right? Now for mini games, I can get these ones on my own time and show them later. Uh, Ocho Metal has a video, so I should probably show that anyway. But I, if I got these on my own time, that's another one, right? So that's three more. So that'll bring us up to 28. Now, this is where it gets tricky. If I did the pool games on my own time, that's two more points, bring us up to 30. Or Yui and Rina, that's 30 as well. So 32, photo booth is 33, right? So like we're, we, are, we are now past the point where we have to worry about it. So what I'm saying is if I so wanted, I could start doing the quality of life ones as well during my own time. I don't know when I'll start doing that, but it's just, it's food for thought. Um, you, Rina and Yui, I'll show on screen because they are sub stories, but there we go. Anyway, thank you for joining me, everyone. My name has been Duke Rafe. All of the collectibles are now in our hand. So, I mean, the world is our oyster. Take care, stay safe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!